Okay, so one of my favorite ways to add a little bit of thickness and subtle saturation to a mix is to run it through some preamps. I'm working on wrapping up a mix for an artist named Nathan Hurdle. It's a song with a lot of big dynamic changes from section to section. I'm standing still. So before sending this to mastering, I want to add a little bit of mix glue by running it through some transformers. So I'm using CAPI VP28s, which are a great DIY mic preamp based on the uh, preamps in an old API console. These actually do have line inputs, but for the sake of the video, I want to show you how simple it is to basically add line inputs to uh, any mic preamp that doesn't have them using the L2P or line to preamp. So we're taking the stereo output of the DAW coming out of the patch bay into the L2P, and we have it on the minus 30 setting for the line input. Then we're coming out of the L2P with a pair of XLRs into the mic preamps. It's really that simple. Um, so one common question is, aren't we just dropping the output volume? Couldn't we do the same thing by um, lowering the output coming out of the DAW? But the L2P isn't just dropping the output volume. It's emulating the uh, output impedance of a microphone. So essentially what we're doing is giving the mic preamp the type of signal that it's expecting to see. Um, if you've ever used a preamp that has an impedance selector, often they're like 1200 ohm and 300 ohm. Uh, if you've used that with like a ribbon mic or a di other dynamic um, and flipped that switch, you've probably heard the pretty dramatic difference that impedance can make on a signal, uh, making it brighter or darker, or, um, even affecting the, the volume of the signal itself. So that's why the L2P is so important to a chain like this. So I've got everything set up, so uh, let's run it through the preamps. I need to say these things to you Cause if I don't, I'll explode There's nothing left for me to do It's up to you when I'm cold Driving in your car or lying in your bed There's nothing I can do to clear my head Things look dumb So I'm pretty happy with that there, uh, but try it for yourself and let me know if you have any secret weapon preamps that you like running your mixes through. Uh, thanks for watching.